Hi everyone, welcome to Fluffy Life. Today I'm going to show you how to make a quick, easy turkey costume for a small dog using items you probably have lying around the house. So to get started, you're going to need an old headband, some bits of scrap material, preferably two different colors, a piece of cardboard. I took this from the back of a writing pad, scissors, a stapler, some cotton balls, and then some thread and needles. All right, so the first step is to simply draw an outline of your turkey tail. So place your headband on your piece of cardboard and outline the headband with a pen. And then you can kind of fashion your own style of a turkey tail, just taking it out to the side and adding some feathers along the way. And then you're simply going to cut this out to create a template. Okay, so I've cut out my template and the next step is to secure your first piece of fabric to this template. The first thing you want to do is cut out this oval space at the bottom. This has to be a rough cut. Once you've done that, we're simply going to use a stapler to secure the fabric on. So just fasten it to the edge and staple it down. And now it's going to be best if you secure the other side next. Just make sure it's nice and tight. Once again, just using your stapler. you can fasten it on. The next thing you do is you just kind of reshape your fabric so that it fits closer to your template. And then take your scissors and make slits down each of the feather sides. Okay, so I've done that for all my feathers. What you do now is just use your stapler and kind of go along and staple your material onto your template. So stapling each side onto each actual feather. So I've gone and I've secured the fabric um, to all the feathers. And now what I would like to do is take my second piece of fabric, preferably something that's a different color so that it's easily contrasted. And what I want to do is fasten it to this template as well. And I'm going to fasten it down here. You want to leave an edge so you can see the previous fabric as well. So you don't want to start all the way down here, leave a little bit of a border and make sure you just fold that piece in so that it looks a little bit neater. And then once again, simply staple it to your template. Now what you're going to do when you're securing this fabric is you're going to fold it over in kind of a fan as you go along and staple it on. So each time you staple it, you're simply going to create a new fold. and then staple it down. So the nice thing about this as well is you can cover up some of your staples by using your folds. Okay, so I've completely secured that second piece of fabric to my template, making sure I use lots and lots of folds. And now what you wanna do is you just want to fold the second piece under so that it's kind of bunched up and you're going to secure that to the template as well but when you do that go underneath and use your stapler so that you can't see the staple so you staple at the bottom like that and then you can pull it back out and over it 
So just go ahead and secure this piece all the way along. And you don't have to have very many staples for this one. But you just want to kind of keep it nice and puffed out. I've completely secured the second fabric onto my template now. And just one thing when you do that, make sure you leave a nice border of your previous material visible. The next step is to secure your template to your headband. So for this, you're going to need your needle and thread. And the easiest way to do this is just to place it underneath and to fold the second fabric, the top fabric, over your headband and to sew it together as such. So you just, it doesn't have to be very neat. I'm not the greatest sewer. But just secure it on. This is also going to get rid of the untidy bits of that second material and have your template nicely fastened to your headband. So now my tail feather is completely secured to the headband and what I want to do is make some ties so that I can secure it to my dog. So for this you're going to need two more scraps of fabric roughly rectangular, quite long pieces. And you're simply going to use your needle and thread to secure it. So first thing you want to do is just wrap it around the Alice band. And then you can use your needle and thread to secure it to the Alice band as well as to the top of the tail over here. Just kind of going in and out. Once again, you don't need to have the greatest sewing abilities. It's really easy. As long as it's nice and secure, it's not going to fall off. You can just continue to secure it down the length of the headband. And when you get to the end, you can kind of just bunch it together and sew it off so that it's closed up. So that would be your first tie that you've created. And you're going to do the same on the other side. Okay, so I've secured my fasteners onto each side and then you can simply just adjust the length of your fabric depending on the size of your dog. So I'm just going to cut these a little shorter. And we have completed our turkey tail. So the next step we're going to do is to make the neck of the turkey. So to make our turkey neck, you're going to need a, another scrap piece of material, about rectangular shape. And the first thing you do is simply just fold it over. And at one end, you're going to sew kind of an oval shape into this end. So just simply sew along the edge like such. Alright, so I'm going to start over here. And just sew around. Once you've sewn this oval shape into your fabric, you're going to simply turn it inside out. So you can push that oval all the way through. Use your finger to push it through this way. Once you've got it nicely puffed out, what you're going to do is you're going to stuff it with your cotton balls.
Right, so I've made the one side of my turkey neck. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So the first thing I did before starting the other side was adjust the length and make it a little bit shorter so that when it hangs on my dog it's not draping on the ground. And um, for this side you're not going to be able to sew it inside out. So simply just, you can see it naturally folds inwards. So just fold it in and once again sew a nice little semicircle. You want to leave the bottom open for now so that you can put your stuffing in easily. So I've sewn kind of a little semicircle down on the other side. I let it just get a little bit narrower towards the top and I left the bottom open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stuff it from the bottom with a few cotton balls just to plump it up a little bit. And then what you can do is just simply fold this bottom inwards so that it's nice and neat and you can sew it shut. Great, so that completes your little project. We have a cute little turkey tail as well as a little turkey neck that you can fasten on your dog. Alright, so this is Stella. I'm going to show you how to secure your turkey costume onto your puppy. So firstly, the turkey tail just simply goes over their back and you just tie it around under their belly. Stella's sleepy. She just woke up from her nap. There you go, it's nicely secure, secured to her. With the turkey neck, Stella doesn't really like to wear things around her head. So I made this to just simply hook on her collar. So it's not going to irritate her in any way. It'll be easy for her to wear. And there you go, you have your little doggy turkey. Thank you for joining us on Fluffy Life. I hope you have lots of fun making this little outfit for your friend. And that you have a wonderful Thanksgiving with your family. May you all have lots to be thankful for. And may this new year bring you much joy.